Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol SPPI. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. If you're not sure what I mean by 30 minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link. So if you go there, I'll explain in detail. Quite the eventful day today, not only from the price action point of view, but you look down there at the volume and well above average volume on the day. So a lot of eyeballs on this one now going forward, especially with uh, all the downwards pressure. And on that note, that's the really the, the interesting level to me that stands out is there is a lot of downwards pressure. And it was just kind of a slow and methodical downwards pressure that pressed on the price all day long. And I get it, these are all just words, slow and methodical, you know, pressure pushing down. But that's the great thing about charts is they, they help you visualize these different statements. And all that can be visualized via what we would call in the world of technical analysis, a tread line. And, and specifically, a downtrending tread line. So that represents that downwards pressure. And as of now, until the price can prove itself in the sense of getting up above that tread line, then yeah, the, the bears are in full control and there remains that downwards pressure. So sure, there can be little miniature bounces to the upside. You know, I, I can't say that that's impossible, but any bounce should be looked at very, very skeptically until the price can prove itself. And once again, quote unquote, prove itself, I'm defining as getting up above that orange line and then being able to stay up above it. So keep a very close eye on that because that represents ultimately who's you know currently in charge of the chart. And right now, uh, you know, the bears are without doubt 100% in control of things. Now, as far as levels of support are concerned, nothing fancy or complicated here. Uh, but what is a little interesting is there's a nice little, because of this lower trend line here, an interesting pattern. And this is, you know, a poor man's falling wedge, but a falling wedge is a, a bullish pattern, as, uh, it, it, as counterintuitive as that is, whereas a rising wedge is actually a, a bearish pattern. But we have a little miniature falling wedge pattern, like I said, not the, not the most beautiful of them all, but it definitely creates a situation where it's worth keeping an eye on and it would not be shocking to see some sort of break back to the upside. Now, that's not guaranteed to happen, but it would not be shocking. So I'm gonna be keeping an eye on this going forward and let's see if the bulls can make a little bit of an appearance and maybe give a, a run up to $4, if not higher. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.